Hello world, it's time, time for an ice cream review and to be exact, time for a comparison of the old briars with a new one. What is the difference? Which one is better? If you're excited then keep watching and let's begin. Well, here we go. What are the differences? So, as you can see, 330 calories it was, now it's 310. It's also not 500 milliliters anymore, but now it is 465 less grams. And the macros, let me guess it should be the same because that <coughs> chocolate and hazelnut vegan already had that new recipe with not added sugar so what is the difference in macros it was 120 calories now it's 122 but what did change if you take a closer look on the details nothing changed but calories for 100 grams are two calories more. So there is two calories difference for whatever reason. I can explain that. Maybe that uh, some uh, more numbers after the first number, after the comma, you know what I mean, <coughs> which are just not written there, but whatever. We don't have to talk about that. Uh, most important that sugar is still 5.7 grams. So it was already reduced in sugar. That's what I suppose. It's uh, There is no sugar added or at least it is lower sugar. Let's take a look on the details again. So it is an chocolate ice cream on a plant basis with hazelnut flavor here <coughs> with sugar and sweetener here with sugar and sweetener and with roasted hazelnut pieces 3.5 percent so there is written that here is sugar added and yes this is true sugar is still there so my fail sugar is still there but it's just lower it's a low amount of sugar. So ingredients, I suppose they are the same, different principles. And reason, as I can see, they are still the same. So let's unwrap them and scoop. one and the new one wow this one looks a little darker am i right or it's because of white paper here and black here no looks like it's really dark enough so let's make a picture and start with it scooping So here we go, the most important moment to figure it out if it got better or not, or it's still the same, or it depends just on how fresh that ice cream is. So this one you see here until the November 2020. But feels not too creamy maybe it's still cold enough just because of that yes it's, it should melt a little bit more but i can wait let's try it out it 
chocolate based dairy free ice cream with little chunks of hazelnuts. To be honest, I would wish there were the whole hazelnuts, not the chunks, not slices. Maybe there would be less of them, but I think that would be better. Having bigger chunks is always better, right? I think in general, making chocolate ice cream creamy is more difficult technically than the vanilla ice cream, for example. And it's also dairy free, so it's on the water basis. That's why it is probably in generally more chalky than other flavors, not chocolate ones. Let's take a look at this and you see this one is more creamy, less chalky, it's already melted more. Yeah, it's definitely more creamy. Oh my god. Wow. And it feels more chocolatey. I'm impressed. That's how this ice cream should be. Okay, it has expired date one year later, almost, but still, I don't think that it's just because of that. Really great. Here is a small heart, for example. but still more delicious. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's take a scoop here in the middle. And here on the side, so that we can compare it fair enough. Here on the side, it is still, it's still not creamy. Mm -mm. No. No way. Guys, if you tried recently this in old design, let me know if yours was also that chalky. But I can give this one just 5 out of 10 and this one I would give 7 out of 10. Great creaminess. Even the tiny hazelnuts taste awesome. Strong hazelnutty flavor. It feels like Nutella. You literally can smell Nutella here. So I like this. And this is it. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. And if you want to see it sooner, then don't forget your thumb up and subscription. Hit the notification bell as well to get notified whenever that next upload happens. See you later guys, goodbye.